Hello, welcome back to another beer review. Now, boys and girls, um, I've got to say a big thank you to um, my mate Panikos for sending me this one. So thanks, mate. Thanks for sending it. It's really appreciated. Um, believe you me, it really is. It's such a nice surprise for you to send me some beers. And so, yeah, check him out at Beer Guru Apprentice Reviews on Facebook. And he's a top bloke. He really is. So, uh, cheers again, mate, for this. Um, so, we have a beer from Struess. And we have a Belgian quad. Now, I love my Belgian quads. I love strong Belgian beers. You can't go wrong, can you? You get great taste. You get great enjoyment out of them. And it gets you pissed. <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> so, we have their St. Amatus. Here you go, boys and girls. Vintage. This is vintage 2013, this one. Um, and it is 11%. A mere 11% ABV. Now, I do love Struis. They do some fantastic beers. And there's one thing I need to do is need to do some Panapot ones. Uh, Panapot is, um, I think they are Struis, are they? Panapot. Murder me in the comments if I completely got that wrong. So, it's got a government health warning on this. So, thanks, Panikos, for sending me a beer with a big warning on. Cheers, mate. <coughs> According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcohol beverages. Yes, I completely agree with that, because they can drive you home after you have a few at the pub. I completely agree. <laughs> during pregnancy. Oh, it says during pregnancy. Ah, yeah, well, we ignore that bit. <laughs> Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car. Hmm, totally agree with that one. Or operate machinery. Hmm. Totally agree with that as well. Or well, may cause health problems. I don't know about the health problems. I'm still here anyway. So yeah. Great looking. Um, label. With um, some. I don't know. Some bloke. He looks like John Lennon in the, in the middle of it. Anyway. So there you go. It's imported in the USA by Shelton Brothers. A Panikos picked this up in um, Belgium. So let's go for it. Bit of smoke, plain crown. Oh, definitely got an age feel to that. <coughs> you you pick up the strength, you pick up sherry, bourbon. You pick a bourbon soaked wood aroma. It's the best way a kind of like aged barrel bourbon, 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 bourbon. Aroma, bit of maybe treacle syrup. It smells thick. It smells beautiful. It really does. <clears throat> so I shall pour a little bit of this because I'm actually doing a little bit of tasting with Panacos about this uh, later on. So let's pour out. I think that should be enough. Definitely, I'll stick that wherever. So, appearance, very dark. It looks like a port, even. Um, yeah, you, you got that kind of like real dark reddish glow to it, very thick. It does look like a port, I have to admit. It's, uh, and again, you're getting beautiful barrel-aged aroma, bourbon, hint of chocolate there as well. Smells absolutely gorgeous. Currants, raisins, a lot. But you, you do pick up the alcoholic strength because it's kind of like clearing your old nostrils, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go in. So cheers, Panikos, mate. Cheers for this one. That's beautiful. That is lovely. Um, well done. First off, you hit with a lovely, gentle, smooth um, texture on the palate. Then you get a little bit of prune. You get a lovely spiritness type of taste with it. If you associate with an aged taste, a little bit of wood, a little bit of soaked 
spirit would, you know, like a barrel age type of thing going on. And then you're getting lovely little chocolate note there, um, dark fruit prune, like tin prunes, um, even dates, that type of thing on the back end. It is, is it's a very thick beer, um, and it's it's something to, to take your time with. I'm going again. There's the candied fruits are in this. You're getting lovely sweetness, but you're getting the strength as well. You're getting lovely little chocolate note with with chocolate chocolate raisins come to mind it's like, like chocolate raisins on top yeah it is beautiful a little bit of sherry even in this it's it's, it's got a lot of a lot going on in it but it's, it's something that you've got to take your time with it is you, you don't want to knock this back because you'll end up on the floor you know we're going one more time Feels like a real car caramelization in the mouth with all these dark fruits. Slight dryness on the back end as well, but it's very much a sipping table beer. It's something actually to have with food more than anything else. Um, me personally, I couldn't really drink it on its own as such. I need, you know, to do a review of it, of course, but there is lovely. Little subtle notes of, of 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 chocolate, of dark fruit, of, of wood, of, of of bourbon, of sherry, of spirit. It's lovely. It really is. So, um, Panikos, mate, you sent me a great, great beer. Um, it's you know what I like about Belgian beers is you got to take your time with them. You know, there's no point knocking them back because you're gonna just gonna not really taste anything and just get pissed on them. Um, with Belgian beers, that makes them special is because they open up as you drink. They, they can like, they're sipping beers. The beers to kind of like treat with respect. And um, they are beautiful. So boys and girls, St. Abbotus, Vintage 2013, Highly, highly recommend that. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful Belgian quad. Thank you, Panikos, again for this, mate. Really, really appreciate it. I shall see you, boys and girls, soon on my next one. So cheers.